Hey, ya uh, Ink Demons, Gamers, and our fellow animators. Today I'm going to be talking about the truth of anti furries. In this video, I'm going to be expressing my experiences with this specific hate group, and I'm also going to give a basic layout of what anti furries are and why they're a thing. First and foremost, the anti furry community has been around for a while. However, most believe that there was a huge spark in the anti-furry community in 2020, which honestly does not surprise me because a lot of people didn't know what to do with their lives during 2020. <sighs> but yeah, this group, from what I have seen and from what other resources have uh, expressed, this group of people are sometimes seen as religious. Some of them are Christians, some are Catholic, some are Muslim. And like, I don't like talking about religion very much, but I've received a lot of very religious comments from people with anti-furry flags and anti-furry as their names in my comment section, spreading Bible verses and spreading very malicious, heinous things about furries and what they're really referring to is zoophilia but yeah um <laughs> i would receive comments saying that no man shall lie with an animal and if he does then the animal should be put to death and so shall the man <sighs> which i very heavily disagree with that but there were also uh, other instances of anti furries being incredibly violent in my comment sections, saying a lot of things about AK 47s, saying that they were going to bomb me, hang me by my feet, and slit my throat, and all of this other very disgusting, horrific things about me because I'm a furry. And it sucks. I'm gonna try very hard not to get emotional in this video. But there were also instances of anti furries sending me videos of. I need to calm down a little bit. Of animal abuse. Very, very graphic. Very violent videos towards animals. <clears throat> I'm trying very hard not to get emotional. I'm sorry. And there were also other instances of anti-furries messaging me personally, saying that my family didn't love me, saying that they were going to tie me up and do very graphic things to me, and <sighs> sent me pictures of my house and very disgusting horrible things based on like what i've researched a lot of people within the anti furry community their understanding of what furries are they think that they are degenerates they think that it's all sexual they think that we abuse animals that we sexually assault animals even though that's not even close to true some of them focus on the psychology of furries and there's nothing psychological about it, it's just a goddamn hobby. Some try to find excuses to hate this amazing community. And it sucks. I really wish I could like wrap my head around why people are this hateful towards us. But I can't, because I cannot understand what would drive someone to be this incredibly horrid towards another human being. Anti-Furries also believe that we believe that we are animals, even though there is absolutely zero proof of that. And yeah, it's just all horrible. 
I can definitely say from personal experience there has been a huge spike in anti-furries. Especially on YouTube, there are a lot of videos of little kids, mind you, pointing their Nerf guns or pointing actual shotguns at their cameras with the caption saying something along the lines of what I would do to a furry. And it's just very upsetting to see. I don't know why YouTube hasn't cracked down on this very much. I mean, people in the furry community have reported these videos and they do eventually get removed. I just wish stuff like this would get taken down a lot sooner because seeing that stuff is horrible and can really mess with your mental health. There have also been instances of me being in furry discord servers and anti-furries joining them and sending a lot of very graphic photos of them shooting people and showing dead bodies and it's absolutely fucking horrific. There are some anti-furries that do end up becoming furries because they hyper fixate on our community so much that they end up being a furry. <laughs> Which I find that to be a little funny, but yeah, the ins and outs of the anti-furry community is deplorable at best. And yeah, I just wanted to say this because these are my personal experiences with anti-furries and there are a lot of truths about anti-furries in this video as well. So I hope you learned something and sorry if this was a lot to take in. It can be because, you know, some of the stuff that these people do is horrible. But yeah, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys have a great day. Please drink water. Please take care of yourself. Stay safe. And remember, you are loved by me and a lot of other people. See ya.